but I'm going to break it down firstly into our um, our phased approach when it comes to off-season, pre-season, in-season, and that's our macro cycle, which is just simply your yearly plan, periodized plan. Um, for, from an AFL point of view, AFL men's, that's typically your off-season. Uh, we start in whenever your uh, season finishes. So if you're playing finals and you're playing the last week of September, your off-season starts in October and then typically um, players will return back. Is it the one to four year players will turn back in the middle of November and the um, the rest of the players will return that last week of November. So that's when pre-season would start. Then pre-season goes for typically four weeks, three to four weeks till uh, Christmas. Then there's three more weeks of off-season where there's no scheduled training. And then essentially from January, let's say 10th onwards, players are preparing for in-season. From a uh, off-season point of view, the, my favourite periodisation approach, particularly for those young developing players, so if you listen to this and you want to get stronger, you want to get more explosive, uh, or you want to improve your aerobic capacity, like your 2K time trial, and have more high-intensity efforts in, in games and in training, uh, then having a linear blocked approach works quite well. Because we don't have as many constraints um, when we're delivering the program, um, i.e. like the schedule, game day, um, travel, um, the coaches' plans with their training sessions, uh, all those sort of things aren't relevant in the off-season. Um, plus, we're not getting coaching time with the athletes, so it's best to keep the program simple for S&Cs listening in. Uh, best to keep the program really simple. It should be familiar for the athletes, so you're using perhaps uh, tempo-based running or time-based um, conditioning, so it's um, specific to them. Tactical periodization is something that essentially we, we prioritize the game demands. We prioritize what the coaches need, what the theme of the session is um, from a training point of view, uh, and we work back from that. So if that means that um, you've got, let's say, 10K of work that you want to get done and you're in pre-season mode and they do 8.5K from football, then we, we would reduce or uh, adapt the conditioning program around um, the volumes that you've prescribed. So if originally you planned to do 3K of aerobic development because you feel like you needed that stimulus to improve their uh, exposure to aerobic work, um, you would naturally, if you've got a tactical periodization approach, you would be agile with that and you would adapt that to um, back off the volumes to be able to accommodate for what the football coaches need. So that's typically how tactical periodization works. If you program when it comes to pre-season, so there are different things that we're thinking about. Um, I've already mentioned tactical periodization. The other approach I like to think about over pre-seasons is the funnel periodization approach, where we're working on um, all the foundations at the start of pre-season, that pre-Christmas block. Um, we might be experimenting a little bit, some different conditioning methodologies. The football coaches are trying some things with the, with the drills. And then as we're getting closer and closer to the season, we've got a better idea of um, not, on not only the demands that we're getting from GPS point of view, um, we've got a better idea of how the athletes are tolerating um, certain types of drills and, and the outputs we're getting from that. But we've got a clear idea of which player is going to play in certain positions um, the demands of, of how we want to be playing and the playing style. So as we get closer to that round one, um, the focus is getting narrower and narrower down the funnel. And then you've got your your micro cycle, which is where we move towards in season. That's quite relevant, where we're focusing on more so on the week, the upcoming week, and we're in that micro cycle each week. Where because of game day, and that's where the tactical periodization comes in. Um, where you're focusing on game day and you're working back from that. So you've got your recovery work, your fundamentals early in the week, heavy revision. Um, so the players have got a real clear sense of um, what went well, what did, what could get better uh, early on the week. Um, typically that's when we'll, because the athletes are still fatigued, up to 72 hours of the game, we'll do more your strength, uh, heavy lifting type of work um, because we can still work at high levels with that, with under fatigue, and it's going to help actually with that recovery process by stimulating um, growth and testosterone. Uh, 